another video. So the topic for this week is one that I have talked about before, but not in a whole lot of detail. And it's something that I think is very necessary, especially considering that the world is kind of getting back into this rhythm of the things that we used to do, but it's not happening the way that it used to. So let's just crack into this, right? and if you're aware and if you have basic social skills you can tell um, how your friend is going to respond to something before they actually have to respond to it so before you say something that may be a little uncomfortable or may possibly rub them the wrong way if you know your friend well enough you're going to know what or how they'll feel about what you have to say now if you don't know how the how they'll feel that's not a bad thing but most of us have a pretty good gauge on how our friends are going to respond when we say certain things and out of either a fear of how they'll respond or because we know that they're going to respond a certain way so out of a fear of not knowing what that response will be or out of the fear of knowing what that actual response is, we will withhold certain pieces of information or we will refrain from telling our friend that they did something wrong or that they could have done something better. Now, if you're in the friendship, you're either one of two people, the person that's doing the sharpening or the person that's being sharpened. When you go into a friendship, your intent should be, okay, I'm going to do life with this person, which means I'm going to build them up. The understanding that I'm building them up to something means that there are going to be areas where they lack or there are going to be areas where they do things wrong. Now, in my case, I'm often the friend that's doing the sharpening. Of course, I have my friends that are able to tell me about myself and put me in my place, but in most friendships, I'm the one who's doing the sharpening. And one of my friends called me out not too long ago, and I'm so grateful that she did this because it completely shifted my perspective and my understanding of how friendship is supposed to work. She said, a lot of the things that you have to say are valuable, but because you're not saying them the right way, people can't receive it. And she gave me this analogy of making sure that I don't compromise what I have to say, but also that when I bring the sword out, that I dip it in some honey first. So essentially, be a little more gracious in your delivery. That's what my friend told me. If I was not open to hearing that feedback from her, I would have still been out here cutting people up and not caring how they felt. Now, granted, there is a certain level of I don't care how you're going to feel that you need to have when you go into this um, this mindset or when you go into this conversation with your friend and your intent is to help them be better. But at the same time, you have to make sure that your delivery is right and you have to make sure that you're being gracious in the things that you tell your friend. The other side of it, if you're the person who's being sharpened, you need to be open to correction. Like, period. <laughs> you can't go into the friendship thinking that, oh, I'll never do anything wrong or this person will never speak up or we're always going to agree on things because that is going to put your friendship in a space that it really doesn't have to be in. So I say all this to help us think about Proverbs chapter 27 in a different light. We need to be mindful that just as iron sharpens iron, so does a friend sharpen a friend. Just as iron, when it's put into a space of friction, or constant interaction with another piece of iron, that's when the sharpening is produced. That same concept should be happening in your friendship. If you are in a close space and there's friction, there needs to be a willingness to be sharpened. And that can only come if you are committed to your friendship in the way that you need to be. So just be mindful of that. It's not super hard to have quality friendships with people. We just need to be more willing to be sharpened, okay? I don't have any features for this week, but I just think it's important for us to keep in mind what is going on in the world right now and how we can do better at relationships because a lot has changed the way that we interact with others and relationships have become such a crucial part of our lives because of the state of the world so we want to make sure that we're doing them a little bit better if you haven't already
Alrighty, make sure you go watch the rest of the videos in our Talks with Tiff series. There are a bunch of great things that are coming down the pike and I'm super excited for what the rest of this year is going to hold. 2020 has been super interesting for all of us and I promise